I wasn't going to go this expensive, but my wife insisted I did because she doesn't want me buying any more crap. And, uh, as soon as the weather clears, I'm going to go set this puppy up outside where I can glass. Now, I have read on various forums that a Kawa is almost as good as a Swarovski, but at half the price. So I guess we'll find out. Hmm. I guess that's all that's in there. That's kind of rubberized. Oh, I think that's a sunshade. Oh, sweet. Okay. And this is going to be the last optic I probably buy ever. Um, this was about, well, after taxes, this was about $1,600. This is something that would have saved me a lot of walking last year. And I've tried various spotters in the past, usually the budget optics, and they just never really work out. With optics, you just can't go cheap, honestly. You get the best you can afford, but... All right, that's enough talk. Road's not completely thawed, but uh, looky what the melted snow revealed. Gonna see a whole lot more of that, I'm sure. Okay, I was wrong about the road being thawed. I'm surrounded by deer. There's a road over that way. There's some more over there. There's some more over there beside the road. And I accidentally bumped a herd that came through there. They saw me coming from way down there. I didn't see them until they moved. The grass is starting to come up. Must be feeding on that. That's a good thing. And they're feeding on the grass. All right. Brand new spotter. First thing I do is make it heavier. Two pounds now. Instead of one and three quarter. Max. Huh.
I like it a lot. Alright, I'm gonna pack this thing up and head on up the road, see what else there is to see. I thought for sure this road would be clear by now. It's April 16th. Now, last weekend was within two days of the only scouting trip I did last year. And this road was clear. There was only one snow bank that I can recall where I couldn't drive through it. So I walk from that point on. But from here, all the way up to where I glassed that cliff of my first um, video where I just said I need to go for a walk, right about there is where I parked my forerunner <coughs> and walked the rest of the way. So I can't even drive from the road to that point still. And then I checked the weather report before I came out. Crazy! It's absolutely laughable I thought this road would be passable this weekend. Absolutely laughable. It's getting hot too. I can't believe this. Seriously. Like... If I had to make a wild ass guess, I'm guessing the mountain is about two weeks behind where it normally would be right now. Well, there's how deep the snow is still on the road. Yeah, we got a ways to go yet, don't we? I'm heading back down. <clears throat> I got all the intel I needed from here right now. Depending on what the uh, road looks like the next weekend or two, I might have to rethink my spring turkey hunting plans this year. Go somewhere else. Hope not. But starting to look that way. <coughs> Excuse me. That cow with spotting skill. I like it. Now, <coughs> it's not perfect. I mean, it's a 55 millimeter objective. And you could definitely tell the light loss when you zoom it all the way in at 45 power. But, and I, I'm pretty certain that it's in low light conditions, it's not going to be as good as a 60 or a 70 or 85 or whatever the objectives are. <clears throat> but for my purposes and the way I glass, it's the, probably the best spot is to go for me because it's light, doesn't take up uh, much pack space. And I primarily glass through my binos anyway. I don't switch to a, I wouldn't switch to a spotter unless uh, I need to take a close look at something. And that thing in my pack right now is a heck of a lot lighter than those 15 by 70s I'll sometimes use. So it has its limitations, but if it was any heavier, I wouldn't use it. That is some good quality glass. I wish my uh, binos were that good, but these, uh, Vortex Diamondback HDs. They work well enough. 
Anyway, that's all I got for this week. You have a good one, and I'll probably post another walkabout like this one next week. <laughs>